Roswell Flight Test Crew here at Exponential 2021 in Hotlanta, Georgia, and I'm here with Jay Shears from Emerson. How you doing, Jay? Doing great, Patrick. How are you? I'm doing very well, thanks. Now, what is it you guys do at Emerson? So Emerson manufactures a product called the Hover Map. It's a LiDAR device that is very, very portable, and we collect data at 300,000 points per second. We use that data to make a digital twin image that can be manipulated with certain software packages to achieve certain outcomes for architect, engineering, mining companies. It's very flexible. It can be held in your hand, mm -hmm. so you can walk with it. You can use it on a backpack that we have. You can drive with it, and it can also be attached to a drone. And then it's flown. The LiDAR data is collected while it's flying. So you have a puck-shaped device in front of this unit, and within the device you have 16 lasers that are rotating, and then you also have the puck that's rotating as well. So you're actually collecting data 360 by 360 all around you. And the data is actually transferred into this box where there's a 500 gigabyte hard drive, and that's about 12 hours of storage um, of data. And once you have the data, you can kind of access the back of the device, put a USB stick in it, and the data will automatically transfer to the USB stick. And when that's done, you simply remove the USB stick and plug it into your computer and drag and drop the file into our processing software. And the software will process the data so that it can be into an output file that's compatible with a number of different software packages that it's relevant for. Got it. Now, is there any way you can take data from this LiDAR unit and pass it to the drone so it can use it, say, you sure can. When we fly the uh, hover map and we clip it onto the bottom of the drone, within 60 seconds you can be airborne, and you have three options when you're flying the drone. There's one option, which is no autonomy. There's a second option, which is, we call it AL1. The pilot is flying the drone, but actually the drone has collision avoidance protection from the software that we call SLAM, Simultaneous Localization and Mapping. And what that does is it collects all of the features surrounding in the ambient environment, and it uses that information to recognize where it is so you don't need GPS. You can fly in a GPS denied environment, but it also provides you with collision avoidance protection. And then there's one more mode, which we call AL2. And with AL2, you can fly fully autonomous, and the SLAM uses the information to navigate the aircraft autonomously. It also uses the information to provide collision avoidance, and it also uses the information to collect all the different point data that you need for your point cloud. And while you're doing that, you're also in real time on the tablet revealing the area that you're scanning at a reduced resolution so that you can make sure you don't miss any gaps while you're scanning. And the technology is really amazing because on the user interface, you can just set a waypoint and then press tap to fly and the drone will head towards that waypoint and using the SLAM data will find a way to get to that waypoint wherever it has to through different tunnels and it remembers where it's gone. So if there's a fail safe incident and, or if it just needs to return to home, it knows how to come home without using GPS and it remembers exactly where it's gone so it returns back through its exact path using its own collision avoidance. Well, Jay, thank you so much. That is intriguing and amazing technology. So um, thanks for sharing it with us. Thank really appreciate so it. Appreciate it. Thank you. And from AUVSI Exponential 2021 in Hotlanta, Georgia, this is the Roswell Flight Desk Crew signing off. Thanks Bye again, everyone. Jay. <laughs>